Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. If you're new here, welcome, good to see you. And if you're a current subscribe member, welcome back. In today's video, two words, what if? Have you ever asked this question before, these two little words, what if I fail? What if she shoots me down? What if my boss says no? What if I can't do it? Thinking about what if in this term keeps you locked in, it keeps you confined to the prison of your mind. Ask it a different way. What if I succeed? What if she says yes? What if I can do it? What if stays the same? It's how you perceive what happens after. And a lot of guys that I coach, they're stuck in the what if. They're stuck in the negative side of what if. But what if everything that you want, everything that you desire is on the other side of what if. I was just recently talking to a guy who is tired of, we'll say, Western women. This was the purpose of our call. He <clears throat> first kind of wanted to bitch about it, and then I kind of steered him away from that because I do agree, to a large point, Westernized women are basically pains in the asses, but there are good ones out there. He's basically writing them off and he's choosing to go to, I want to say the Philippines, I'm not exactly sure, but he basically wants to be a passport bro. A short, simple explanation is it's somebody who decides to go to a different country where the women are less Americanized, if you want to call it there, more traditional, basically try to marry them. I mean, it's very simple. They either go to date them for a while, but they're looking for a wife. It's called a passport bro. And this guy is largely convincing himself that this particular island is the island he wants to go because he has some friends that went there or who now live there. And here we are. So he is fairly well put together. Yes, he could work on his physicality a little bit. Um, but for all intents and purposes, he's made his mind up. And he wanted, I don't know if it was my permission or he just wanted somebody to talk to about this. And as we got talking, the idea of what if comes up. Now I have to pull it out of him a little bit because I asked him, hey, this sounds like something that you really want to do and you've been planning this and you've been strategizing of this. How come you haven't gone yet? And he started thinking about it. He goes, I'm stuck in my head. What if I go there and they reject me? What if I go there and I don't like anybody? What if I go there and I realized that this was a mistake. Fair enough, you're taking a leap of faith to go to a whole new country to meet people. You really don't speak the language. You really don't know a lot about them as, as a whole. Fair enough, that's a very tumultuous time and he's fighting this. But what if he goes there and he finds a woman he really likes and she really likes him? What if he goes there and he loves the culture and he wants to stay? And then again, what if he doesn't like it and he comes back? What was really lost during all of this? A little bit of time, a little bit of money. We all burn time and we all burn money on decisions. And for the most part, we're all okay. For the most part, we might step back we might have to regroup, we might have to retool, but it didn't kill us. And this is the whole idea of the video. If you have a business idea and you're stuck in a nine to five and you hate, you just know this is not where you wanna be in your life and you're stuck in the what if I fail? What if you succeed? And then again, what if you do fail? What did you lose? You lost some time and money, get another job. A lot of people that I coach they stop at what if. Your brain's really good at coming up with all the solutions why you'll fail. It is also really good at coming up with all the solutions on why you'll succeed. It's a computer term called GIGO, garbage in, garbage out. And this is why I always advocate for men to stay around other positive men, read books on positivity, be a positive person, because when you're feeding your mind positive information, 
positive information comes out. If you're feeding your mind bullshit and garbage and negativity and whining and complaining, that's all that's gonna come out of your mouth. So start flipping this idea of what if. What if I fail? Your brain's gonna say, yeah, you probably will fail. Remember that one time you tried to start a business and you failed? You remember that one time that you tried to start this business and your buddy beat you to it and now he's a millionaire? You can't duplicate that again. What if I succeed? Yeah, you know, you are smart, you can do this. You're basically doing this now, but you're doing it for your boss. You found a way to do it better. Why don't you become his competitor? What if she says no? Well, yeah, she looks really busy right now. I probably shouldn't go talk to her. She actually has a resting bitch face. I probably, I, she, ah, I better not. And then you missed your opportunity. What if she says yes? I'm just gonna walk up to her and introduce myself. At the end of the day, even if she says no, at least I know. I presented myself, I said hi, that I'm interested. But what if she says yes? Now I have a date. Now I have an opportunity to get to know this person. Do you see the difference? Stop getting caught in the what if trap and letting your mind take over the negative. Stop letting your mind control that narrative. You have to start using your mind and that, that powerful tool that you have and control your own narrative on where you want to be. And even if you fail, who cares? You're in a much better position having tried and failed than never having to try it and always wondering what if. What if is the biggest regret most people have on their deathbed? What if I started that business? What if I wrote that book? What if I created this awesome painting and we kick the can down the road? I'll get to it tomorrow. I'll do it when I retire. I'll do it another day. I'm busy right now. That's a stupid dream. I don't deserve even having these thoughts. You do. If you're watching this and you're stuck in something, I don't care what it is, and you're stuck in that what if I fail or what if I don't succeed or what if this isn't for me? Start flipping it and say, what if this is for me? What if this is my path? What if God is finally bringing this idea that I keep having? What if God keeps dropping it into my head? And he's trying to tell me something. Jared, this is for you. When I started this YouTube channel, I had this idea, this thought of what if people made fun of me? And they do. Then I had this idea, yeah, but what if people really resonate with it and I get emails and I get messages on, hey, you, what you said really made an impact, and I do. The point is, it doesn't matter what the outside world thinks about what you're doing. What matters is how you are doing it for yourself. What matters is if you're moving the needle forward for you in a positive way or if you're staying stuck in the mind of what if. What if this doesn't work and you stop? Start flipping it, my friends. I'm telling you, what if it does work and it does? How much further along in your life will be? What if there's this girl at work that you've been dying to ask out and you, you fucking choke up? You just, you keep stopping. What if you ask her out and she says no? You at least know she's not interested. To me, that's a far better way to get a no or to get a definitive no than to always wonder what if she said yes. I would rather start a business and fail to always wondering if I start the business and it succeeded and I never did anything about it. Question everything that you do from here on out with that curiosity, with that, <clears throat> I can do this. What if I just started a side hustle? Yeah, I'm tired, but what if I started a side hustle and I was able to make a couple thousand dollars more a month? How much more impactful will that be for you and your family? Instead of always stopping at the what if and stopping at that wall, I want you to jump over that fucking wall or kick it down and see what's on the other side of what if. Most of the time, it's far better on the other side than it is in the no. 
it is and what you know now. That's all I got on this, my friends. My name is Jared Schumacher. This is the Magnetic Men's Club. The purpose of this channel is to question these things, is to push men and women to help them see that they're more than what society tells them, to help men understand that you are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Whatever you do in this world, this is the only life you have. This is the only shot you have, so not, why not take it? My biggest fear for you, for me, for my family, is we are on our deathbed having that idea of what if, or that regret of I should have done this. I wanna go on my deathbed completely broke, all the ideas I had, I left on the field. That's how I want to go out, and that's how I want you guys to go out. My name is Jerry Schumacher. If you found this video helpful, please hit like, hit subscribe. Consider it in the bell icon so you know when new videos are being met. And consider sharing this video with others who maybe are stuck and they need permission to say, fuck it, let's just do it. What if it works? Again, my name is Jared. This is the Magnetic Men's Club, and we will talk soon.